It's been a long time, long time. We shouldn't have left you, left you without a dope. Step two, step two. YouTube what's going on I'm gonna take this time because I have no time to basically describe and try to explain to the best of my abilities UV lighting in general that means UV A B and C yes there are three and yes they all have letters behind them in a hierarchical nature boom okay they all come from the Sun we all know that they are all hub subheadings under UVR which is ultraviolet radiation which is produced by the Sun now all of these things are produced and hit us in what's called wavelengths. Wavelengths come in, in several forms from infrared to radio waves, okay? Now, now we're looking at the ultraviolet, okay? Now, you might ask, why can't we see these rays? It's because these rays are basically out of our actual visual range, okay? The sun produces every type of like color spectrum, okay, number one. Okay. Number two is, as humans, we can only see things that are over 400. Okay, and there's actually a pocket and a limited thing is between 400 and 700. That measurement that I'm using, the numerical measurement I'm using, is in nanometers, which is like one one is one 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 billionth of a meter. Okay, one divided by one billion. That's the actual measurement. Super small, hella small, crazy small. So. Now we know that. So anything between 400 and 700, we're not seeing. Now, your UV light in general, all your UVR stuff falls in between 400 and I want to say like, I want to say 290. I may be wrong. Please Google that for the exact numbers. Okay. So UVA, you'll have between 400 and 320. UVB, you'll have like 320 to 2. 90 or 270 or something like that and then UVB break it off into two different groupings that I'm not going to discuss about okay that we don't we're not going to worry about for our reptiles for right now then you have you you know you got UVC okay that's even lower than that so that's so basically what it is is now I'm going to go through how they hit the planet and how they hit our skin okay how did they hit the planet okay UVA can it straight straight through that's like the strongest wavelength it's the longest wavelength boom okay uvb is a little smaller okay as far as if you're going to do waves you got to squish it in a little bit then you got your uvb so now you got your uvb that hits the surface that bounces off of everything you know that's what we get that's what we want for our reptiles that's why we spend 30 dollars on lights that's why we you know we hate in life we try to order it online why is this shit so expensive uvb uvc doesn't even break the atmosphere so think about the actual wavelengths that come from the, the sun, you know, all of that ultraviolet radiation that is in the form of UVA, UVB, UVC, think of it like drills. You got C can't drill through because that just hits the atmosphere, B can drill through just enough to hit the surface, and then A just does what it wants, it's going to go straight through, okay? Not the earth, but you guys get what I'm saying, a little bit deeper than UVB. Now, let's compare it to the human skin. I'm going to do this this way because it's the best way for me to explain it. And if you're watching part two before part one, that shit's on you. Um, I'm trying my best to explain this in a non-academic format and it's hard as hell. So just kind of bear with me. Now, we're going to just, now the second way I'm going to explain it is by using human skin as the example. Now you have the human skin, you have like basically typically four layers. You have your top layer, you have your epidermis, which, you know, all your dermatology people, all y'all care about, and then you have your dermis, which is lower than that, then you have your subcutaneous uh, uh, level right there, right below that. Okay, UVA goes all the way down to the subcutaneous level. Okay, past the epidermis, past the dermis, past all, all the way into the subcutaneous level. Now, UVB, it hits all the way through the epidermis and just the top of the and just the top of the dermis, okay. So it doesn't go as deep. Same concept I just explained with the with the Earth and how the light, those are like those are of radiation as a whole hits the Earth in those three in them three different wavelengths. Now the C, it doesn't even hit the atmosphere, so it never hits us. 
okay? They're doing research on UVA now and saying it's just bad UVB, blah, 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 for humans, and they got the UVB thing. Now, here's the thing about, okay, UVA. <sighs> UVA, for the most part, you know, we do use it for our reptile lighting and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into the luminescence as far as, you know, the bulbs and stuff like that. That'll be probably a third video. Um, so you got to look at it like this. UVB is what we care about. UVB likes to bounce around a lot when it comes to the human skin. If there's anything reflective, like white or anything like that, it'll actually bounce off of that white and it'll hit whatever it needs to hit double time. I'm not going to get into how, you know, painting the inside of your enclosure, a light color helps, you know, reflect some of that UVB back to your reptile, kind of like a double dose. I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole nother ball game. But I hope you guys kind of got the concept of how the three, uh, light wavelengths actually work i know this was painful it was painful explaining it and if there's any questions go ahead anything that you got a challenge anything that you think that i got wrong go ahead and google it because you didn't take the time to make the video um but i do take constructive criticism as long as it's respectful but for the most part it's very hard to explain this to a lot of people that don't give a damn about it but i just felt that i couldn't do a reptile lighting uh, review our video trying to explain it without actually hitting the academic side of it. So, holla at your boy. Be easy.